What's up guys, my name is Cody Chang, and for those who don't know me, I'm a French immersion grade 12 student, and I would like to pursue a career in computer science. I often enjoy learning new skills to keep me motivated and less bored in life. When I was young, I always experienced new activities like playing different sports, playing instruments, doing extracurricular activities outside of school, so I'm pretty experienced with learning new things. As a Chinese Canadian altogether, I know a few different languages, which include English, Mandarin, Cantonese, French, and I started learning Spanish during the summer of last year. Finally, currently, I'm learning Romanian. Since it's the last year of school for graduating, I can finally be an expert at French, English, and Chinese, and I took Chinese school outside of school and I graduated last year, and adding a new language to my toolbox would be a good choice. I have two main reasons why I chose this topic. First, is I want to try new things, and I like trying new things. And I want to challenge myself to new experiences that can potentially be helpful in the future. In my opinion, Communication is essential in any career because each job requires speaking with co-workers or clients who come from all around the globe, and learning an extra language could expand my communication skills and make me a more confident speaker in general. In addition, I would have a greater advantage over other people because of my diverse knowledge of languages. And the second reason is as I stated above, I already have prior experiences with learning languages, and with Romanian being similar to French in some aspects in which I'm fluent. My goal after completing the capstone is I hope to have a basic conversation in Romanian, or at the level in which I can speak in a conversation. This goal is nice because it should be a little challenging for me but at the same time, it's not impossible to achieve, so it's in a good balance of difficulty. So even if I don't fully achieve my goal, I can at least learn a few keywords and phrases that would help me slowly build a conversation later on. As long as I'm working hard each time I practice, I can definitely acquire this goal. Through the process, I've developed this goal by doing research online, watching YouTube videos on basic Romanian phrases, and using Duolingo, which is a language app, which helped me a lot during this journey. Before I start talking about my mentor, first of all, I'd like to thank him for everything that he has taught me and for being so patient with me. Even though we only communicated through email, he really taught me a lot and I really appreciate his guidance. Now moving on to why I chose my mentor. My mentor's name is Cosmin Preda, who is the dad of a Romanian friend and XP teacher at Moscow, which is one reason why I chose him because it is more accessible to talk to him. I chose him as my mentor because I've met him a few times in person and I felt like he was a really patient person and really generous too. So during our four meetings, he re recommended that I use the Duolingo app, and I asked him a bunch of questions. For example, I asked him what are some basic readings to learn in Romanian, and over the New Year's, I asked him um, some holiday greetings that are common in Romania, and what Romanians usually do during Christmas and New Year's. Not only did we discuss the, uh, the ways of speaking Romanian, but also we added more on the discussion of the culture and traditions of Romania. In our last meeting, I asked them about Romanian dishes that are common in their home country and other uh, traditions that are that are famous. Even though I know learning the culture of Romania is not part of the goal, I wanted to challenge myself and push myself to do more and research more in depth about Romania. I thought it'd be interesting to learn other aspects of Romania, not just the way of speaking it. My mentors also recommended me to display my progress of learning by making a video as he thinks is the best way to express my work.
So moving on, we have some clips of me doing Duolingo and a bit of a YouTube video watching here with Romanians and also uh, researching online and searching uh, greeting words and here is my notebook of me going through my notes I researched over time and the words I've found from Duolingo and other sources that I've researched on. Some challenges I encountered during this project are, first of all, finding the time to practice and learning the language because since it's the last year of school, it's harder to time manage than other years with lots of things to worry about. I have university applications, even more work than complete in a quarter system, driver's test, etc. And how I overcame this issue is by just practicing 10 to 15 minutes of Romanian every day, compressing my schedule to hopefully make a fit in my schedule. I even sacrificed some of my personal time on the weekend and spent some time working on Romanian. Next, the hardest thing about Romanian is a pronunciation of the language which I found really difficult to grasp on. There are many new symbols and that I've never seen before and I have no clue how to speak. With harder pronunciation, it was difficult for me to memorize specific words and phrases. It eventually became easier for me as I continually practiced with improvement every time I learned. Buna manumes kodi shi sunt in bayat. Part sa vabesk ingleza, chinesa, francesa, shi in pic de romana. Buna ziwa manonk lemar la micule de jun shi bao shi lapte. Scusati ma varog daka romanul menu yeste buna dar va multumesk bayati. Betkun ka atzi askulat nevedem shi la revedere. I feel like I've developed my critical thinking skills because when learning a foreign language, it is like learning how to speak all over again. I really think I've improved my concentration, multitasking, and memory during this project. This com competency is relevant to my future goal of becoming a computer programmer where a high level of problem solving is required. Further developing the skill will be beneficial for me in the long run. Another main competency would be communication, as learning a new language forced me to constantly practice with my oral skills and my overall confidence in projecting my voice. As I stated before, communication is super key in life, and in every situation, as humans, speaking is the best way of communication. A few new goals I would like to set for myself for this topic are that I would love to cook Romanian food and learn how to write in Romanian. Other goals that are not related to this current topic would include ways I could better reduce stress and bring more fit and gaining more muscle. Before the video ends, the most important lesson that I've learned from this whole capstone is that practice is what makes it perfect. I know it might sound cliche, but it's 100% true, and if you are persistent with your work, you can definitely achieve your goals. I hope what I displayed today will inspire other students to further achieve their goals and not give up because anything is possible. And thank you guys, and peace.